Man Cam exclusive. It's Hot 975, Bootleg Kev. Yeah. Ready, set, radio, live on the studio, man. Ludacris. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Chilling, brother. I know. It's been a long time. I'm loving Vegas right now, man. Indeed, we man. Memorial Day weekend. Mem it don't get any better than Memorial Day weekend. Party right. in the streets. I know it's always a party in the streets here, but right now, streets is on fire. It's ass shots everywhere. You know what I mean? Girls walking around with the bikinis, and they just don't give a damn. I heard you uh, you tore up lollipops last night. <laughs> My man, DJ Infamous, you know what I mean? He went there and DJed at lollipops. I know it just opened up, but shout out to everybody that came and show love. I, I think we threw at least, what, 25,000 in the air ones last night. We blew damn. lollipops the hell up, man. We had the new single, Jingling, going on. My man, single, Itching, of course, with Future. So, you know, we just, it's a movement going on right now. Yeah, we, yeah, we are man. disturbing the peace throughout the streets of Las Vegas. Let's talk about the new album, man, Ludiversal. The last album, The Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, man. It was, uh, you know, I'm a, I've been a long time Luda fan, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that album. Yeah, I know all... a lot of your fans weren't. No, nah, it's all. A lot of the fans were, but well, it's all uh, good. The female fans loved it. The female fans. Like, that's that's who it was for. So you know, when you say Battle the mind of the Sexes, was my 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 ish. Just because I'm on yeah. the, you know, I like the hip hop side of Luda, the real lyrical side. Absolutely, and you're gonna get a lot of that on this new album. So you get the lyrical side. You get the me taking it to a whole nother level. Because I've been to to the mountaintops, as my Indeed. man PK would say. So it's time to take it. To, to, to outer space yeah, So we're gonna kill it We're gonna kill it What's the direction of the album man I mean, Man The direction is As you say You like the lyrical Luda Of course You have the introspective Luda You have the fun Luda You got the storytelling Luda I mean It's it's everything all balled in one But it's gonna come together it's In an organized fashion And it's gonna be right And we just got Hit singles for days We got songs that you can just vibe to I got songs that's just straight lyrical We got everything So it's a, it's a complete spectrum of every damn thing That's what's up, man yeah. I can't wait to hear it well, when, When's the date? The date as of right now We, we talking 9-11 That's my birthday Oh, word But yeah, but this is something else I need to tell you We shooting Fast and Furious 6 overseas And you know, depending on those dates We'll see where, where we're going to go with the actual date of the album Because oh, I got wow. I to gotta be here I got to be everywhere at the same damn time, so I'm going to try and make it happen one way or another. But either way, it's going to be right. The timing will be right when it comes. You know, September 11th, of course, you know, uh, you know, the, the tragedy happened, but yeah. that's the same day the blueprint came out, man. So, you know, yeah. you got to come You got to come with the class on September 11th. Absolutely, man. Chicken and beer was supposed to come, I think, uh, a week after that. So I was actually in New York on 9-11 when the planes hit the Twin Towers in New York, 30 blocks away from where it happened. So, of yeah. course, it changed my life. So I'm with you on the classic. We're going to make it happen. I remember going to the store and buying Fabulous's first album and Jay-Z's album that same day they both came out. At the same damn time. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, you're you're a busy dude, man. You're doing the movies. Um, you got the headphone company that's oh, yeah. popping. Soul man. Headphones. Shout out to everybody who supports the Soul Headphones, man. We are now everywhere. You can get them at Best Buy, the Apple stores, of course, Radio Shack. Man, uh, the list goes on and on. So everybody that has been supporting them, they know that's they've been doing it. That's why we are in more stores. So make sure you get them. It's like it's five different uh, headphones. You can get the in ears. You can get the you know the the smaller ones for the kids. Then you got to step up from that. It's the one fifties, and you got the three hundred. Five different prices. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely five different headphones. Five different prices. That, Believe that. That's what's up, man. Um, I wanted to talk to you. I saw you were on the new Bieber record that just leaked. It leaked last night. Yeah, um, I, I was talking to Bieber's manager. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I didn't think so either. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man, it's called All Around the World. You and Biebs, y'all y'all got quite the re working relationship, man. I mean, what's it like being man, in the studio with that? It's kid? just like me and Usher, man. You know, it, if if one hit record goes man why if something ain't broke and why you know yeah. if it ain't broke don't, don't fix it, fix it. Do so it you know we keep it going we did it again i think this record is as you when you listen to it, it has that dance feel to it but it still has the original feel of what he's doing but he, again he's taking it to a whole nother level so i think people you know they they're gonna they're gonna love this record once they once they get a chance to really hear it indeed did you get to he's kind of going the hip-hop right he's got so many hip-hop features on his <laughs> album it's kind of crazy have you heard a, a lot of his album I have heard a couple songs, and I'm here to let you know he's definitely jamming with it. I haven't heard a I haven't heard everything. He's having his Timberlake moment, where like grown men, it's okay to listen to, to Bieber now. Oh yeah, definitely. When, when Timberlake was rolling on NSYNC, it was eh. <laughs> but now you know. Yeah. He's he's having that moment, man. Hey, Absolutely. um, you know, I wanted to talk to you. I know Two Chains, of course. You, you, you put him him and Dollar Boy on play a circle. Oh um, yeah. Through T DTP, they put themselves on, man. Well, of course, same but thanks, you did in that same... outlet. Yeah, same thing Two Chains is doing right now, man. You know, I, I always call him Tit. Man, that, that's the homie, right. man. That's family. You know, we came up together, and I'm extremely proud of him, man. Definitely proud of him, man. I, you know, I, everybody says he works hard and he deserves what he what he gets. 
I 100% agree with that, man. He's been hustling. I've seen him doing it since day one. So everything, all, all the success, man, is much and well deserved. So, Indeed, you know, man. congratulations to that boy. I talk to him all the time. That's what I wanted to ask you. When you had him as part of Player Circle, did you ever, like, um, did you ever see him as a solo artist? Or did you ever think that he had the potential to be where he is right yeah, now? Yeah, absolutely. I, I thought both him and Dollar Boy had the potential to go solo. And, you know, we, they were both working on solo projects as they are now. So, you know, they always had it planned where they were a group, but they also had separate projects. And right now it's tits time. You know yeah, what I mean? He's like the man right now. Absolutely. And watch out for Dollar Boy, too. So they both coming, man. Indeed, man. You know? Indeed. And then is is uh, I read something. Is 2 Chains? I know he helped uh, on the mixtape a lot. Is he like A&R or doing some A&R work on the album? He um he, he brought me some beats for the mixtape that I did, uh, um 21 gigawatt, 1.21 right. gigawatt. So he found one of the beats on there. And that's basically, you know, we, we put checks in people's pockets, man. If it's family, that's what we're going to do. That's you know what I mean? Man. Always trying to find checks for my people. Most definitely, man. I also wanted to talk to you uh, about just the DTP movement. I'm from Phoenix, so I got to thank you for allowing Willie North Pole to put an album out. Oh, yeah. I just talked to, <laughs> talked to him the other day, too. So, you know, he's still working. Shout out Willie North Pole. Um, that was like, you know, like having an artist from Phoenix drop an album on Def Jam was a big deal to everybody in the city. So Absolutely, man. I love Phoenix, too, man. I know you do, man. That verse you had <laughs> uh, with the joint with Game and Willie. Yeah. Oh, man. Love that. That's like, one of my favorite songs of all the ones I've done, honestly. Yeah. You, you, Call up the homies. It's about to go down. Yeah. Love that song. That's why you said Theater of the Mind was your album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. It's all Everybody has their favorite ludicrous album. I love that. Indeed. Now, I mean, it's, it's blessed to More have a, albums, enough course, albums yeah. to have... Where people say this is my favorite ludicrous album, so we going on number eight right now. So that's crazy. We gonna man. keep it going. That's crazy, my dude. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's the situation with DTP right now? Who signed? Like who? who DTP is man, we right we now? have a new group by the name of Untitled. We working with these kids, TK and Cash. Of course, we got myself, and we got a couple surprises in the works right now. So I'll be able to tell you a lot more in, in the near future. Let's make some power moves. We huh? working on the power moves, man. We like I always say, we just getting started. Trust me on that. That's what's up, man. Yes, yes. That's what it is. I also wanted to speak with you. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of when you dropped the mixtape, a lot of controversy uh, brewed up because. Uh, of the you whole... know, we can keep it positive right now. We're gonna stay off the negativity. We're just gonna keep in the positive direction right now. Let's do that. Well, what I was gonna we ask, on, we on a whole new front right now. Well, I was I, well, the only thing I wanted to ask because I know you and Big Sean are, are label mates. Y'all ever get a chance to chop it up after everything that went down? We actually did, man, and uh, he just addressed it, I believe, on BT. So when we had a show in Australia. That's and what we, I saw. You guys are on the same lineup, yeah. Yeah, we had a show in Australia, and we actually got a chance to to to, to sit down. So that's why I said we're just gonna keep it positive right keep now. Keep it one hundred. Everything's positive, man. That's what it is, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, the drama record that uh, the we in this bitch joint. Yeah. You, Tip, Jeezy, Absolutely. Future. Um, man, that's like such a big look for ATL because I mean, five years ago. I mean, you, if you would have asked me if that record already happened, I'm like, yeah. That, there had right. to have been a time all three of them would have been on the nah, same Nah, you know what's crazy? I've had records with Tip. I've had records with Jeezy. I've had records with Drama. None of us, we have never all been on the same exact record. Right. And Future. So, you know, like you said, it's big for Atlanta. As you see, we are working, and we and we always work together. So we're going to keep that going strong. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a great look, man. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the background you have in radio, man, because oh, I yeah. know you started off. Uh, yeah. Doing the radio thing. I should be yeah, interviewing yeah. you right now. Yeah. Shit. What is uh? <laughs> how did you get started in the radio game? Did you start off as an intern? Yeah. I started off as an intern because I was trying to get my music played. So, of course, I looked at it as a means to an end. I felt like if I go to the radio station, this is where all the artists and all the producers are coming exactly. through. Yeah. I'll be able to slide on my music on the, on the, you know, on, on the slide. So, what happened was I ended up getting a job up there because I was pretty much the youngest person at the station. And, and like just the energy that I had was good enough for them to give me a job. And I just used that job, of course, to continue giving my music to all the people that came up there. And it was only a matter of time before it worked out. So it was kind of like, yo, I'm going to get into this radio game to get on with this music thing. Get the checks. And, and then I reinvested into myself, into the album, mixed, mastered, recorded everything with my own money, put it out independent. It was called Incognito which later turned into changing three records and it being called back for the first time, Def Jam. So, you know, that's that's pretty much the beginning of, of, of why I'm here right now. We're talking earlier, like you said, everyone's got their favorite Luda album. What's your favorite album that you put out? My favorite album is definitely the one that I'm about to put out, man. Luda Versa. I saw, yeah. Because I feel like it's it's a growth. And at the end of the day, I always feel like my best work is, is yet to come. So when I say that I'm finishing everything up right now, it is 100% what everyone loves from all the previous albums all bunched in one. Production-wise, who are you working with on the album? 
Man, it's so many people that I'm working with production-wise that, you know, I don't want to let the cat out the bag because we have a lot of records to still choose from before you get the actual final album. So I don't want to throw out, you know, names and then they don't make the album. But I can definitely say shout out to the interns right now because they got they about got four. They got and heat. speaking of the interns, man, this jingling record, which is, of course, killing Memorial Day weekend all over the country right now. Um, LL was uh, LL was who really got me into hip hop music when I was a young whippersnapper man I heard that song I'm bad and it's just like I loved it so much so for me to be able to sample his record I went and sat down with him to get this record clear yeah and he listened to it he loved it he said man go ahead and live make that money is is an honor to me so you know the person that put me basically in the rap game I'm just getting to to give back so no, I appreciate it's a great, that it's a, it's a great record uh, a lot of girls are going to be making a lot of money to that song <laughs> absolutely yeah. that's like I said we was at Lollipops last night and when I tell it. we played it at least five times it was a lot of ones being thrown in the air. A lot off of the ones record. popping off off the and record. And a lot of jingling going on. That's what it is, yeah. man. Ludiversal, September 11th, potentially. Potentially 9 11, man. Fast and Furious 6. You know, with these movie dates, they're always trying to push things, so we shall see. Fast and the Furious 6. Absolutely, man. It's, this, it's you can't be most... count Tokyo Drift, man. Hey, man, I wasn't in Tokyo Drift. That's what I'm so saying. I'm you can't even... count Tokyo Drift. That shit was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy man I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing Fast Five pretty much reignited yeah, the it entire did. it reignited it. Once you franchise bring, you gotta bring everybody back and then it's all good again once you got you know Bow Wow and whoever else is in that it's, yeah. it's, it's you know nah, it's all you lose G, the man. original magic we'll see I'm, I'm just trying to see if they can top Fast Five so we'll see with Fast Six um, I think we're gonna have more sequels than Jason in a minute this franchise is getting all, it, it's starting to be off the damn chain that's what it is man so uh, yeah go get the album absolutely look out for the movie yeah uh, Yo, shout out to uh, Luda. All of that, man. Of album stuff. number eight, man. Get the headphones. Yeah, get the headphones. Make sure you get some of that conjure cognac. You know what I mean? I mean, it's so oh, many the things going on. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, we, we love we love conjure cognac. We love cognac. So we in that business right now. So for all the drinkers, which is a lot of drinkers in Vegas, you got to do that, man. Hey, it's, do you it's think smooth. It's the no hangover you're, alcohol. You're like a, a super, you know, entrepreneur, man. You're, you're entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that too. Um, no, do you think? Sometimes, you know, I, I feel like certain artists, like, uh, you know, they, 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 they have so much time that they put into all these side ventures. Does that, do you ever feel like it might take away from the music? Man, you know what? I honestly can say that I think I got myself wrapped up so much in so many businesses, not knowing exactly how much of my time it was going to take, that that is part of the reason of why I've been gone for music for the past, right. you know, two or three You've years. Kind of been on the, yeah. So, you know, it was a, it's a learning experience. But don't don't get it twisted. At the same time, I've been living for the past two yeah. years. You know what I mean? Like, I finally got a chance to step back and enjoy all of the hard work and the riches that I have accumulated and just start having a lot of fun. But it's now time to get back to work. Do you find it kind of challenging to, uh, like you said, kind of be off the radar on the hip-hop you know, side of things the last two years and to come back and it's like kind of like a whole new landscape of man, high artists. I've done it before, man, and I love music so much that I'm I'm willing to take that challenge. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I love that about, about music and I'm just, I'm willing to get in and like I said, I record so many different records and I love so many different kinds of, of, of music that it's, it's going to be all right. We're going to make it work it is, and man. we're going to continue to stay ahead of the curve. Shouts to Luda. I think you're one of the most underrated MCs ever, man. Hey, man, so. we're going to address all of that. If, if they have patience, they're going to look, this is what it is, man. If they sleeping, we're eventually going to slap them silly and wake their ass yeah, up. Yeah, you know, people always have the discussions of like <laughs> the, the high, you know, the, the best rappers. Where I always think that, that, that you don't get your due in that, in that but category. The funny thing is, after your favorite album, Theater of the Mind, that's when those talks started coming into play. So um, I appreciate everybody who rides and dies and lets everybody know. They felt I was underrated. We're going to continue to slap them silly, man. So, it, you know, like we just getting started. We got time. Don't worry about it. It ain't over. That's what's up. I appreciate it, man. Hey, just before I let you go, I got to let you know my, one of my favorite songs in high school, the joint you did on the Funk Flex album, the Block on Lockdown. Oh, wow, wow, the, yeah. Ooh, brah. Yeah, that was, on, that was on Back for the First Time album, too. Or yeah, was it, it was. was it, the la- it, w- it was Word of Mouth. It was the last song of Word of Mouth. Word of Mouth. See? And, then it, and then it was a hidden song after that. Welcome to many, Atlanta. Too many albums. I don't even remember what songs are on yeah, which man. damn albums. I got to get it together. Much man. love. Thanks for coming through, hey, man. Hey, man. Appreciate it's you. It's all love, brother. Respect.